Why you voted Trump had in him? Uh, Tell me about this Trump I'm, hat. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a diehard Trump supporter. Uh, in my household, uh, you got, got Martin Luther King, mm -hmm. you got Jesus, and you got Donald Trump. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Not in that particular order, but yeah, you got yeah, Martin Luther King, Jesus, and Donald Trump. Why you got Donald Trump? Now, you uh, know, I'm a straight Democrat, but I, I'm for the best person. Oh, yes, well, sir. Now, why you of course you're a Democrat, the feminine black man. Of course you're a Democrat. You got Donald Trump. Uh, because I paid attention in school uh, when I was a kid, and so I know I know the I know the true history of, of both the Republican uh, and Democratic Party. You see, Charles White is a critical thinker. People might not like his statements because they're quite incendiary sometimes, but he's a critical thinker. He's not he, he's not just being controversial for being controversial. I you know nowadays that word controversial is used way too much. Most of the time, it's not even warranted for the use. Because when you go, when you, when you speak reality now, when you speak the truth now, that's controversial, quote unquote. So this is just someone that goes against the grain, not just for the sake of it, but to prove a point. And most of the time he does prove a, prove a point. He re, he, this guy really loves, he really likes black people and he, he really wants black people to do better. You know. It's a bunch of other people on the internet that's quite like him, that see the promiscuity and the downfall of the black american society that wants america black americans to do better because they can do better and that's all that's all he's striving for but you know the black american society is very liberal very 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 liberal and they have a liberals have hive mindset hive mentality they all want you to think the same and act the same so that's why they come against him hard. But he's really a good guy. Uh, I know that they really didn't switch during, during the Nixon Southern strategy, that one became more clever than the other in dealing with black people. Uh, we the Democrats, we got away. We were the Republicans' friends. We were their friends, but we were the Democrats. Hmm. Uh, when you look at the... the, 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 the the origins of the Ku Klux Klan, uh, it originated out of the Demo Democratic Party. The Ku Klux Klan. It you see that dude there, that, that white guy there holding Joe Biden's hand, Robert Byrd, like was the grandmaster of the, of the KKK. Hillary Clinton did a eulogy in his, at his, uh, his funeral, and she said how he was a mentor for her and how she looked up to him. That guy, Robert Byrd. Look it up. I'm not just talking crap. Charleston White does his homework. He doesn't just come out and just blatantly just say crap. He does his homework. He knows what he's talking about. Y'all should listen to him. I know he's kind of like, you know, goes off sometimes with his eyes leaning back like that, but <laughs> focus on the message, not the messenger. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, every, every civil rights legislation that ever has been passed in this country uh, was authored, uh, uh, written, uh, sponsored, and voted on 100% by Republicans and not Democrats. True. Every civil rights legislation. Well, what, what, what True. you don't do? So let me let me feel the magic about Trump. Don't so come as off. A, so as a kid, I remember being six, seven years old. When you're trying to make sense, they, oh, that's when they want to cut you off. Don't cut him off. Let him let him let him get to his point. Every civil rights legislation. Well, what, 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 you, what you gonna do? So let me let me feel the magic about Trump. Right. So as a so as a kid, I remember being six, seven years old, uh, and, and seeing Donald Trump re receiving a, a, an award with with, with, with Muhammad Ali, uh, Rosa Parks, mm. uh, from the NAACP. And the whole Rosa Parks situation, if I can just digress just a little bit, just permit me to digress a tiny little bit. The Rosa Bar uh, Rosa Parks situation with the whole sitting in the back of the bus and all that stuff. It wasn't really her that it, that, that incident happened to. It happened to a, a little black girl. She was the one that was asked to go and sit in the, in, the, in the back of the bus. She was the one that kind of sparked that whole movement. But they couldn't use her because she was pregnant. Because I think she was like 14 and she was pregnant. So that was a bad image. They didn't want to use her, but it was her story. They use Rosa Park as the face of it. Uh, not only that, uh, he marketing 
all marketing. In, engaged and interactive in, in our culture from the 80s throughout the 90s and even the 2000s, from rappers to Michael Jackson. Uh, so when we looked out into our culture, his face appeared many, many times. Uh, so for me to grow up now and, and then hear the media, because before the media starts saying he was racist, I never heard a black leader say it. I never True. heard my grandmother say it. True. I never heard no one even mention anything bad about him other than rappers giving him praise in over 300 to 600 rap songs. True. So for the media to say, oh, he's racist, I knew they were playing con on us. And I can remember when America was great. I can remember when black children could play outside all day long uh, and you didn't hear about kids being kidnapped. You didn't hear about drive-by shooting. Why you wrote that Trump had in him? He's making sense. He's making sense. When you've got a society that's focused on lies and deceit, when you speak the truth, they want to crucify you. We're living in a post-truth world right now. We're close to the end. Brace yourself, guys. It's going to get worse.